Hey everybody, welcome in, and today, that's right, we are here because the exchange has had an update. So it's about time I updated my uh, what's best from the exchange, so we're going to jump straight into it, um, and starting with the premium exchange. Now this exchange is pretty much for uh, anyone who's spending a lot on the game. If you are not spending a lot and getting super amounts of excess gems, you're pretty much not going to want to touch this. The only things in here that would be decent if you are spending would be, say, Ariel, Sully and Mickey have a decent uh, rate for the for the gems. So they've got 150 for three, whereas all the rest are 450. Now you could argue that the exclusives are decent since they're exclusives. But at the moment, Shan Yu is the only good one out of the three. And you can just continue to farm him. So I would say all in all, the 150 gems for the aerial tokens is about what you can buy three re energy refreshes uh, at 50 gems each i'd rather do that and get maybe one token each time that's that's my thought um one maybe three hey and then just space it out so that's it's, it's very much more of a patience thing and then likewise with um likewise with the gear i worked out that it's not even worth it for the refreshes, the amount that you're getting. You might as well buy those basic refreshes for the energy and get it over time. Now, the only benefit of why you would want to get them is if you have the luxury of spending onto the game, having a super amount of gems, and then you can use them to get what you want when you want. And that is pretty much all this exchange is used for. So that is going to bring us into the gold exchange. Now the gold exchange used to be a lot bigger and better back in the glory days. Uh, I had to have videos on that if anyone wants to see what it used to be like. But now it's just like the, the most basic T1, T2, T3 materials. And the prices are actually super high. So I think for two brooms you need 20 uh, for each piece of gear that you may want to upgrade, that's going to be 200,000. 200,000 gold for one part of the gears that you need. It's too expensive, too expensive. Now, the only time I can say that I would ever use the gold exchange is if you have super excess gold and you are using up every other thing like say you're maxing your farming on something else more important you're using the other areas of the exchange for things more important and yet you're still shy of some gear maybe these bottom ones just because you're not they're not too expensive for how much things you, that you need of them so that's the that's pretty much like the only time i would recommend anyone getting them um so be careful be careful with seeing that and being like, oh, I need these brooms. I I wouldn't recommend it. I used to buy the brooms that I didn't have much of here just because they were rarer and then I was using my farming energy somewhere else. So that's, that is a time when I would, but now the brooms are available in the club exchange, so we'll head on over there soon. So now I'd say only these bottom row ones, um, the T1 and T2, not too expensive for for how many you have you don't need many of them to level up characters so i'd recommend that if you have the extra gold lying around now jumping over to the club here we have the first of the exclusive uh, characters in the actual um, tabs so the club exchange jack sparrow is the best thing in this exchange you're going to need him in the towers for oceanics he's going to do you amazing he is actually very high in the top tiers the higher you go his charm his damage his cleansing his he's got so many great things about him um and 
potential if you want a video on him let me know in the comments below now Bulu on the, uh, Balu on the other hand oh he needs a buff now they have mentioned in the recent patch notes that they are looking into healers and buffing healers so hopefully they get a rework because at the moment they're pretty much all terrible so maybe there's hope for him in the future um but say i would only get him once you've maxed jack sparrow now and then for the rest of the characters i'd say only get them say if there's an event that you need them coming up then you can maybe prioritize them to get you further in an event or once you've maxed say jack sparrow or uh, baloo as well maybe you can start working on someone else that you really want to, to have maxed in your team but down the bottom this is the biggest upgrade of um, the recent patch so many stacks of gear we like, recently had like maybe what there was two two little rows maybe three of gear before but now we've got nearly all the gear pieces so it's going to give you gear relative to your level so this is where it becomes amazing um these brooms have been one of the hardest to get they are needed in nearly all characters i mean look at that nearly all the characters need them they are used for speed gear they are used for potency tenacity all those types of gears you need a lot of them and i'm always short i was at zero like not too long ago i think i was just had just took myself up over 20 or 30 from farming and now i'm just stocking up on them as soon as they come up and i try and keep my piles of gear around about 500 or so um, as you can see there, I'm short on a few, but you also don't, there's not many characters that need uh, these ones, so I don't need to stock up on these ones really. Um, so I've probably got more than enough and more than enough to come as well. So you guys don't need to stock up such high stacks if you are if you are prioritizing other things. I'd say only get what you need. And then once you've got what you need and you've got your main character and teams all leveled up, then start a little stockpile. Um, I, I would recommend keeping enough to upgrade one fully character, um, fully geared, so you can be ready for any events or any good character that comes to the game. And then from there, start taking your piles higher and higher until you're ready to invest into a character. And um, that's what I would recommend. Now, aside from the brooms, so you'll notice that the brooms are 750, and then it goes up to these extracts, which are 2,750 for 10. Now, brooms, 10 brooms, perfect. Like, I'd ra far rather pay that in my club exchange and save my energy for trying to grind them um, and farm them from quest when I can buy them for so much cheaper. And that goes the same with these extracts these are very good on price so i'm gonna get some of these as well and like stock up on whatever you need because there are some things like the hex essence you need them for everybody so you're gonna need a lot of them and then there are some other ones that you just don't need much of and then you can end up getting a whole lot that you're not gonna really need too many of so aim for the ones that you need just know that you are going to need at least three pieces of gear for any of the heart extracts and say likewise with uh, the tiny feathers um, these ones are the health ones you need like three pieces of health gear minimum maybe four if they're tanks or healers per level so you're gonna need more of those but recently they've also been giving those health ones in events so that has been nice just to help offset some of the gear grind um, but I would highly recommend brooms and extracts for the price they are. To get 10 of them, I would far rather pay that than use my energy and try and grind farming out 10 of them. Now we move up to droplets. Now, droplets, likewise with the extracts, you need a lot of them. You actually need a lot more than extracts. You need at max level when you start using these, T5, T6. You actually need 35 at T5, and then at tier 6, you need 70 per piece of gear. And the, the, the grind is real for those. So that for, for a stack of 4, I'd, I'd happily pay 4k for it, although my club exchange uh, is now depleted in the, 
in the token, so that's a little bit sad. Um, but previously I've been onto a big stack, but I've just, ever since this, this update has come, I've just been getting, loading up, like as you saw, um, as much as I can. And I always work on the cheapest ones first, because they're going to be the best value for, for your currency. And then you can farm the other higher ones because it's the same energy cost nearly for farming. But the the price in the club coins is way less. So I'd highly recommend um, doing that. And so I personally, so when you get up here with the pieces of coral, the needles, the lightnings, all these bits. When you get up to there, those are the ones you want to farm with your energy. Own, I wouldn't even, even if you're desperate, I wouldn't personally buy them from here i had purchased one or two when i had good stacks of everything else below but you will burn through your stacks so fast when you need like 70 plus for each singular piece of piece of one of the six pieces of gear um yeah you you burn through a lot so i'd say i focus on grinding all those t tier six ones so i want to try and get my stacks up to 100 for these these ones and then once I've got those ones up to 100 I want to go back and work to the droplets to 140 so that's going to give me enough for two pieces of gear each of those and so on and so forth keep my way working through that and then while I'm doing that when I get my stacks of all of these brooms up to a sufficient level that I no longer really need to then I want to stop purchasing them I'm going to keep purchasing the essences when I've got my essences up to decent stacks of like four five hundred whatever I'm trying to aim for um yet again whatever is relevant to you you guys don't need to have 500 stacks until you're super late game and don't need uh, that so I'd recommend enough for one character so so however many you need um, so say 20 brooms or 40 brooms for two two upgrade pieces of upgrade like I'd recommend something like that to start and go on so forth so I want to try and get my stacks when I've got all my essences up to a sufficient level then I'm going to move up to the droplets and keep stepping myself up like that but when, as soon as I get up to buying droplets I know and that's going to invest all my time. I don't even get anywhere near the, the corals, the thistles, the urchins and things like that and the needles because I you need so many droplets. There's just absolutely no way I'm going to out-farm or out-purchase these and for the cost that they are within how much club currency we get. So hopefully that's been helpful for you. Definitely start purchase the lowest ones, purchase all the brooms that you need to upgrade, then purchase all the essences and then do that now in saying that that's for like your stockpiles that's for your characters if you have your main team that needs gearing focus on the gear that you need for your main team as always main team first priority because your main team is going to help you get further in your tournament shard that's going to help you get more gems the higher you place the more gems you can get daily the more you can spend on energy the more you can spend on events the more you I've got a I've got a video on how to best spend your gems, so if you want to go and check that out as well, um, and I'll give even more recommendations. But that is pretty much the club um, exchange for for my recommendations of what you're doing. So I would highly recommend Jack. Then personally, I'd go Baloo just because he's exclusive and he's likely to get a buff. But if you are working, say, Mickey for your main team, then I wouldn't blame you for also going and doing Mickey and then getting some gear on the side. Um, now, tournament exchange. The higher you place, so this is going back to what I just said, the higher you place, the more you progress, the more, uh, the more shards or tournaments exchange currency you're going to get highly recommend um i've done videos on hades shanyu mordu merlin if you want to check out these characters i've done showcases on them all go and check them out they're all the exclusives for this tournament exchange and shanyu by far the best character in the game and then you when you've done him i'd say focus on him first Unless you don't want to be like everybody else and just want something unique, then you know what? Go for who you want. 
I will check out the videos then and see who you'd rather play with and what kind of play style you want. But just all over goodness, Shan is by far the best. Um, so get him, focus on getting him up to a usable stage and go from there. And then once you're done with Shan, you move on to who the next is that you're going to get. And that is what I'd recommend. I would not recommend getting any of the other characters in here um, with your tournament exchange just because you only get so much of it and there are so many great characters. These are the top, top three. Well, they were the top three now. Zerg is probably in the top three. Um, but they're in the top tier of characters in the game. And I'd even, I use Merlin just as much as I use Mordu and Shan Yu. So, and Hades, so just putting that out there, he's personally one of my favorites. Um, and he brings a lot of usability that is not really seen, or some other people aren't really seeing in him. So just keep that in mind. I, I've done his showcase as well of why he's good or how, what kind of things he can fit into. So if you're interested, check out any of those showcases. And I haven't done a Horn King since the change of game. He's only in my older, older videos when the game was older. So, he used to be amazing back then. Amazing. But, let's go into the Tower Exchange. So, with the Tower Exchange, um, depending, I get a lot of questions like, what should I use spend my tower? Which, which spell should I go for? If you're low in tower, on tower 1 or 2, probably just make do with the ones that you have. Make do with your make do with your meteor and your trigger for a start until you beat tower one then when you get duke kaboom use duke kaboom and so on and so forth it's not going to take you very long I, I know people here that have been playing this since global been playing what a month now and they are already at tower five starting tower five now with that i would highly recommend if possible, you don't spend much of your currency, there are a few spells that I would get. So the only things that I would do are, is up until Tower 5 is buy one or two of the spells that will be game changing for you. So get Dumbo, because while you're low level, his blind is just going to destroy and wreck people and get Golden Hammer. Golden Hammer is another one which is a super, super good spell. Get get them to unlock. Once you've got them unlocked, save your currency until you get round about to Tower 5 um, is what I would recommend. Now, if you wanted to, you could farm them more on Golden Hammer, but as you'll notice, the the payout for what you get for, for spell tokens compared to what the packs give, it's 2,000 for individual spell tokens, whereas you get 5, for the price of 1700 now it's random now there is one thing you need to know about its randomness is that for this to be value i would highly recommend doing this get once you've unlocked the certain spells that you need i would highly recommend spending all the rest of your currency on these packs and I'll spend them on these packs all the way up until you have half of the spells in here. Half of these ones. So until you have, uh, how many rows are there? Two, four, five. So once you have about 10 spells maxed, then it starts to stop being worthwhile getting these packs. Because it's going to be 50-50 if you get something that you do have or don't have. But even then it's probably worth your while because you're still getting double the tokens. So you could probably go until you've got maybe 12 or 13 or 14 of these maxed. And then only go to single target getting the spells that you need after that. Because getting 5 tokens for less than the price of 2, that's a bargain. That is a bargain. And you can get all of the spells. Get them all unlocked. Try out who you like. Um, and hopefully you'll do well. Now... Blue Fairy Magic is the best spell in the game at the moment. It is stupidly broken OP, and I think it deserves a nerf. Um, along with, uh, like, Foul Play, um, the, there's there's a few of these that are just a little bit too good. 
and they just break teams. Um, and I don't think that's good for the game. So that's why I think they could potentially do with a little bit of an or just some tweaking of the way that they work. Something needs to be done. Now, in saying all of that, there are a few spells that may be worth leveling up a little bit more. So once you've unlocked, say, Dumbo, you've unlocked Dumbo, that's good. You only ever want to unlock him because other than his unlock, he's you don't need anything else unless it's maxed. Now, unlike that, Golden Hammer. At level 3, Golden Hammer gets some bonuses and some speed buffs and more HP for your characters. It actually changes the way you use it a lot and is far more worthwhile getting to level 3. So if you want to focus farm, say, Golden Hammer, I would say that is one that is worth focus farming. And likewise with Blue Fairy Magic, but only after you beat Tower, beat Tower 5. Not even just reach it, but beat it. So, so that, those would be my recommendations. I'd say hold off your spells up until then. Or maybe when you get to spell pack 4, when you beat Tower 4, maybe get those spell packs as well. The only ones you're really missing out on after that it will be Splash Mountain and Blue Fairy Magic, I believe. Um, so at least you can get golden and hammers and dumbos and everything else that is actually really good as well as some of the other ones So maybe once you get up to spell pack four Use them on the packs if you want to start progressing with your spells or just focus farm a few of those spells until you've got golden hammer or dumbo up and then and then wait until you're done and get spell packs five or something like that because there are only a few super game changing spells in the game and it's at maxed, Splash Mountain, at maxed, is game-changing. Um, Blue Fairy Magic is just game-changing as soon as you unlock it, so it's only once you beat Tower. But then at level 3, you also get a speed boost, which is even more game-changing. Now, that's nuts. That is absolutely nuts. So, focus your farm, I would say, on things like Golden Hammer. Unlock potentially to level 3 if you feeling that it will be worth if you if you use it and you love it then do that um otherwise save your tokens until you get as high as you can and just make do with whatever spells you've got because to be honest most of the other smell snowy's meh not great clock tower not great peter's shadow in the long run when you get better and uh higher up it's it takes too long to charge to be useful in in the long run um Fairy Slumber is also not so great. Thunder, Thunder Mountain also far too long to charge to be useful. Um, although one, it used you used to be able to use wand to cleanse that, and that was another reason why like wand is just it just breaks so many combos. Um, although now its timer cannot be stopped by wand, so that's one little bonus. Um, so it is a little bit better than it used to be, but. One other one that would be worth upgrading, I'd say as well, is unlocking, I should say, is the cauldron, the conjuring cauldron tokens. Um, another one worth unlocking. So think about that, and then other than that, I'd say just wait for the spell packs and then unlock things naturally through getting the spell packs, and you'll unlock them so much faster than focus farming things because you're getting so many more tokens. So many more tokens you'll be getting, so... I would highly recommend that. And then you've also got right down the very, very bottom, you can buy the mats that you need to upgrade them. Personally, I would not recommend that. Just because I am the type to say it's all about costs. And you're going to get these over time by completing the towers, by getting more, passing the stages, doing it daily. You want to get more of these... I've figured out that I think you can take one spell from level 3 to level 4, that's max level, once a month. And I'm just holding out doing that. I've got all these spells max, where some of them I just need to press the button, have the gold, have all the mats. And I'm just waiting my time. And so I'm going to, now that I've maxed everything, I'm going to hoard my tokens for any future upgrades and additions to here, then I'll be able to splash out as soon as they drop and i'm not in a rush to upgrade all the other spells so that's some other little bit of advice for when you get to that stage maybe consider 
once you've got all the ones that you need, maybe consider holding off for a while and finishing up some of the ones that you've got tokens for before you spend any more. But that being said, I don't see them bringing any new spells very soon. But we'll see. You never know. Now, Sorcerer's Exchange. There's always been a lot of questions about these and these little stones and the gems. People see them. How do I get these currencies? Well, what do they do? Uh, for each of the stones, each of the stones have different colors. They represent different stats and they all boost your stats in certain ways. Um, now, you can get these. In events that will be coming up they have said that the sorcerers trials those are the ones the little events they're kind of like little two-day events or one-day events um that would come around that were kind of like the like say scrooge like uh, scrooge's money heist or say sally's potions and things like that they're those type of events but the rewards were for these stones and there was also once a time where they rewarded the stones in conquest as a reward uh, for winning uh, you could potentially have a chance at putting them so only like six people in the club would get them back when they were chance based and everybody hated that everyone would work hard and then only six people got great rewards yeah that's why everyone has a standard reward now um but back with the stones they will be coming said to return back in june I believe is when they're wanting to bring them back but they say that may depending on what happens it may get pushed back but they're aiming for june is what they have said so hold tight and you'll get some work on the ones that i'm just gonna say the absolutely most broken op one at the moment is the yellowstone the speed stone at the moment speed and damage are everything in this game and the more speed you have the more damage you can do too so just uh, just a little heads up for when they do come back. You know what to look for. Now, the question mark, token exchange. This is the exchange when you have a 7 star character. When you then, after you've pulled a 7 star character, you get another one of their tokens. They then convert into 10 of these question mark tokens. So, it kind of equates to every 10, every 10 duplicate tokens you get, you'll be able to pull one of these standard characters. Now there is an exclusive in here, uh, Steamboat Mickey, which you saw me allude to in one of my big openings, the Grand Champion uh, pack openings, and in the very end you saw me getting my last few tokens that I needed to unlock and or max my Steamboat Mickey. So he is the exclusive exclusive, I love him as a character as well he is a little bit underrated as well and that's probably because not too many people have him or have him have him and have him invested in so a little bit of a sleep him on i love him um something to look forward to once you start maxing characters but another question that is asked is it worth getting a seven star and then grinding those characters to get more of these to get the question last and i'll say no no just let it happen naturally it'll eventually happen when you start maxing characters and events come around and then once you've maxed those event characters then you'll get some some of the question mark tokens things like that happen or let them happen naturally and then start focusing on who you want and i would highly recommend if you're purchasing anything get steamboat mickey unless unless there's an event say unless like there's a tron event and you need cora or there's a Scrooge event and you need screw. Like unless there's a specific event that the tokens happen to pop up for. And it's gonna help you progress. Progress is key always. And then come back to Steamboat Mickey when you're done that event. But that's enough on these uh, seven stars. Let's go jump on to the last tab, the VIP exchange. So this is pretty much like upgraded version of the of the premium exchange now this is only available for people who have purchased the like say it's not pass holder but the vip so it's like the different version of pass holder so the vip gives you uh, gems daily plus it gives you all these little quality of life things like autoing um, mass challenges and tower and not having to watch so many videos and just auto claiming on all that kind of stuff but it also allows you to come in here 
and buy these discounted rates on things. So what is worth it? If you're going to be, if you're spending and you're getting VIP and you're going to be spending and pulling packs anyway, the ult, the 10 times ultimate chest, this is discounted. It's normally 3,600, I believe. And likewise with the five times ultimate, they're just slightly cheaper. So if you're going to be buying them, you might as well get one cheaper than you normally would have. Now, great value. I wouldn't, I wouldn't bother with the loyalty coin, honestly, because you only get a handful of gems out of them and you don't get very much gold. So it's honestly not, not worth it in my opinion. But the, the tokens for gold, grab those especially jesse she isn't going to be needed for the toy story event she is a more limited character to get and if you can get three tokens for two hundred and fifty thousand, would you rather get 20 brooms or would you rather three jesse tokens i know which one i'll prefer with my gold so if you see those ones for gold i'd say they're definitely worth it now you also have available in here exclusives tokens like hades and robin hood and they are at a premium price because they are exclusive so it's just for anyone who is spending a lot and wants to progress fast this is exactly what they're for just like zerg here so this is even more premium because zerg is even rarer that 1000 for five of his tokens youch but you can probably see how some people that are spending a lot they'll be like hey i'll get zerg faster we're going to grab him now davy jones is an awesome amazing one he is the uh, club conquest exclusive and that's the only way you can get him well and opening 10 times packs and things like that but i'd say if, if i was getting any of them i would probably want him out of the rest or him and zerg but anyway whatever you like now back down here for the gold I would highly recommend if you're doing this buy all these ones for the gold in here get those runes runes are so limited you may as well pick them up i'd rather spend 150,000 gold than 500 or 500 gems on some although it's, it's a lower amount but hey now in the bottom of here you've pretty much got everything else that you need to level up your characters you've got runes You've got some spell tokens, you have got um, the mats to level up your spells, and then you've got gear right down the bottom. And if you really want it, if, if you're the impatient type, if you've got money to blow, and you just want everything now, progression is key. If you unlock it straight away, you're going to be ahead of everybody else. And thank you for supporting the game for us all, is all I'm going to say. So if that, if that is what you're doing, thank you for supporting the game and supporting the supporting it for everybody. No matter what anyone else says, thank you for supporting the game. And I hope you enjoy your max characters is uh, what it's going to be about. So that is the VIP exchange. That is what it's worth. That is pretty much the whole exchange. Um, I'd say definitely the most exciting is the most recent change in the club exchange and just the addition of all the different gear is amazing. You can get who you need, what you need for any leveling, and you can get it well. So I'm excited about this as a change, and I'm looking forward to looking forward to spending more club currency as soon as I get it, um, and leveling lots of characters up because gear can be a grind especially like the level three level three is oh, so much harder than the level four um and then I'd, I, I'd say once you get past those hurdles then only then wait for tier six and then you'll be crying again <laughs> just with how much like as i mentioned like how much you need um but it's so nice that they've got it all in here so work towards whatever you need progression and smart purchasing in all that you do hopefully this has helped you hopefully you've learned something if you have let me know in the comments below if you love these types of videos uh stick around uh, subscribe if you want to see lots more i'll put out all sorts of helpful content and yes i am long-winded and i do do lots of explaining explanations but hopefully i do this so it is very clear for you all and so that you uh can 
play with certainty that what you're doing is best um, because that's what I'm all about. So if I've helped you, I'd love it if you let me know and you can even help me. Um, be subscribed, share this with other people, whatever it takes. Um, if you want to help me, that will be amazing. But just happy to help you guys. Uh, link to my Discord in the, ser ser in the server, the in the description below. Uh, it's late. It is very late. So I want to go to bed and we'll see you all soon.